So the tools for solving a system of nonlinear equations is exactly the same as the tools for solving a system of linear equations. We basically could either use substitution or elimination. So what I'm going to do now is use elimination to solve a problem. And how we do elimination is exactly the same as we did before. Okay, so what we have instead of just x and y's is we now have x squareds and y squareds. But the principle is exactly the same. So what we want to do is choose one of our variables to get rid of. Okay? I see that my numbers on x, the coefficients on x are smaller, so I'm going to try to get rid of the x terms. So if I multiply the bottom one by a negative 2, I can then add them together and everything, the x's will cancel off. So I have the top equation stays the same. And the bottom equation now turns into negative 2x plus 6y equals negative 12. And the reason I multiplied it by a negative 2 is I find that I make less mistakes when I add as opposed to when I subtract. When I subtract, I oftentimes forget to distribute negatives and things can go wrong. So what we want to do here is add. And I left a square off that little y squared in the bottom. Our x's cancel. We end up with negative 10y squared plus 6y squared, which is going to be negative 4y squared. And 8 plus negative 12 is negative 4, giving me y squared is equal to 1. Okay, So finishing this up, take the square root of both sides. We end up with y is equal to plus or minus 1. Remember when you use the square root as a tool, the have to include the plus or minus. OK, so we found our x-coordinates. We also need to then go find the so we found the y-coordinates, we now need to go back to find the x-coordinates that go with that. Okay, so if y is equal to positive 1, we can go and plug it into either of these equations. Okay, the bottom one has smaller numbers, so I'm just going to plug it into there, leaving me with x squared minus 3 is equal to 6, x squared is equal to 9, and then take the square root, giving us x is equal to plus or minus 3. What we found is that if y is 1, x could be positive 3 or negative 3. So what we're left with then is two points that could be our solution. We have y is 3, sorry, y is 1, x is 3, or y is 1, x is negative 3. The other thing we have to consider is the other possible solution, which was y is equal to negative 1. What I want to point out is that if y is negative 1, we're still squaring it. So we're going to get the exact same value numerically as if we put a negative 1. So our x's are going to come out to be the same thing, either plus or minus 3. So what that does is add two more answers to our solution set. We're ending, ending up with negative 3, 1, or negative 3, negative 1, and negative 3, let's try that again, positive 3, negative 1. Whew. So what we end up getting is positive 1 for our y value being paired with positive or negative 3 for our x value, or negative 1 for our y value being paired with positive 3 or negative 3 for our x value. So we end up with four points altogether. Okay. So solving a system of nonlinear equations by elimination. Pretty much exactly the same, except instead of dealing with just one solution for our lines, what we're going to end up with is multiple solutions up to four, sometimes zero, sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three. It all varies.